everyone in this video we are going to learn how to create telegram bots using python let's see what are the requirements for making the chatbot in python the python libraries we need to install are request xml lxml and beautiful soup 4 let's run this command pip install request lxml and beautiful soup 4 in cmd and install the requirements i have already installed the library so the requirements are already satisfied now let's go ahead to see how we create bots for python for telegram on telegram there is something called bot father so you can see the bot father is the one bot to rule them all we will use it to create new bot accounts and to manage your existing bots. Now go to the telegram web page. Sign in if you don't have, the, have an account already. Search for the bot father. Search for the bot father and the one with the blue tick is the official account for bot will receive the list of commands the first command uh, here is the here it is the first command we have slash new bot to create new bot of our choice when you hit the new bot command it asks for the uh, name of your bot i'll put it my name there then if you see it accepts name and you have to uh, enter the username for the bot. So yeah, uh, for this username and the bot name, we have created the uh, chatbot of our own. And here it is the token of uh, token a uh, token for to access the HTTP APIs. This is basically for the security. You can copy this API token. You can copy this API token and we'll be, we'll be using it sometime later. Now there is, okay. Now there is something called Telegram Bot API. This API is, uh, API we'll be using for creating our bots. You can go through the documentation of the API. Here it is. So you can go through the documentation of the API. They have nicely listed the methods and parameters uh, how, and how to use them. We'll be using some of them to uh, some of them for our purpose. You can go through the documentation once. Okay. So now let's go to the API page and now let's go to the API page for that you can just enter api.telegram.org slash bot and Paste the token you paste the token you have copied from the another page and now we will use get updates method to get the updates of our bot. So if you if you hit the enter button for now you have the blank JSON file the results of our bot uh, get update method uh, is empty now let's go to our uh, chatbot search here uh, so you can see that here is the bot well st start the will start the conversation and now you if you go again to this uh, api page and reload it you will get the first message you have the message and you have different parameters for the message 
you get the message id it's the first message for the conversation you get the details of uh, the user who sent you the message then you get the chat details of that uh, chat details of that user and you get first name last name id and all you get the even you get the text what they sent so yes then let's go again and write something let's write hi and if we update this again reload this page we get the another entry here it's uh, the text for it is uh, hi if we go ahead and type something let's type hi again and load it okay so uh, once you load it you get the update id here so if you want to get the updates of the particular conversation particular id if you give the parameter offset here and pass the update id you will get the updates of the particular conversation and uh, yeah now let's the let's try our send message send message command send from send message command you have to specify the text let's say rip Reply, and also you have to specify the chat ID, which is here. The chat ID is this one. Please specify the chat ID here and hit enter. Now you can see that uh, the text uh, the reply uh, is sent on our chatbot. If you check the Telegram. you got the reply from our bot so this is how the api works now let's go and code for our bot because we can't always do this we can't send the messages manually we need uh, to automate this process so this is how the api works and now we will convert this uh, process into the program and let's see how it's done let's go ahead and start creating a chatbot first of all we will create config.txt file we will create config.txt file we'll write We'll copy this token here. The purpose of creating the separate file is to maintain the security of our token. Uh, I will be deleting this uh, bot for bot of this token, so it's for no, it's of no use for now. So yeah, created bot dot fi py file for our bot. Let's import the file uh, libraries which we are going to use. We we will be using request library. JSON library and uh, config uh, config parser library as an imported it as CFG. So uh, let's go ahead and create a class for uh, Telegram bot. After writing the Telegram bot class. i will be writing the uh, constructor for this class i have written uh, a token variable which will be having the uh, token value we got from the telegram um, bot father and i will write this function to import uh, the token from config.txt file uh, the config this will be the uh, this will be the path for config.py uh, .config.txt file 
I have also initialized another variable base. It will be having the ba having uh, base URL of uh, our website. So the our website is API dot Telegram dot org slash bot, and we have to insert our token after that. So I have used this format function to insert the token. Let's go ahead and uh, define our get updates method we'll be uh, defining a url for get updates method i'll also pass uh, offset variable and initialize it to none okay. so now i'll be writing the code for get updates method i have written the url for get up update method i have also mentioned the timeout parameter here uh, i'll tell you what it means if we specify the timeout parameter to some value uh, then the our page won't be uh, our page won't load before this uh, before the value of uh, before the time we have given or uh, if we have received any new message so it prevents the reloading of our page again and again if we don't have any message uh, we have also added the offset to our url offset is there for filtering out our urls based on update values uh, i have uh, created a get request for our url and the content of our url will be returned in json format so get update me up updates method returns the content of uh, our uh, url in json format now let's go ahead and define let's go ahead and define our send message method will be passing a message parameter here i have i have defined the send message method i have written the url in in the same similar manner uh, the url is uh, i have appended this send method send message method and the chat id and text to the base url I'll be sending chat ID and the message as text. So I'll be adding chat ID as another parameter for this mess uh, send message method. And if the message is not none, the message is not null, we'll be requesting to get the URL. That is, we'll be requesting to send this met uh, send this message. Uh, now let's go ahead and define our token from config file. We have the config file. Uh, I have used the config parser of uh, config parser uh, library. Uh, and I have uh, allowed the parser to read the data from config uh, dot text file, and the parser will uh, get us the data from uh, credentials that is token. So we are getting our token from the config dot text file by this method. Now let's go and now let's go and define our server file. Let's define the server.py file. Here I have written the code. I have imported uh, the telegram bot class from bot.py file. I have created a, an object of uh, telegram bot function. I have passed the config.txt file uh, to my bot which has the credentials of my chatbot. Uh, now I have uh, for now I have uh, initialized update ID to none and now let's see how I have written the while loop for my server 
uh, I am using get updates function which I have defined here to uh, get updates from the chatbot API uh, get updates of my bot is uh, here um, I am using I have initialized offset to update ID for now uh, I am assigning this value to my updates variable uh, the function returns a JSON of the results so the update var update updates variable is the JSON of my results uh, I have uh, reassigned the updates variable to the results part of this uh, JSON as we can see here that our JSON file has two parts OK and result so I have, I have updated the uh, updates variable to this result part of the JSON file now we can go ahead and uh, see if our updates variable is non uh, empty we can loop through the updates variable that is we can loop through the every entry every message of the user so we will keep updating the update id to our uh, items update id that is update id of every message will be keep uh, updating the update id and uh, for uh, our message we will be assigning the message variable to uh, we will be assigning the message we receive from the user to message variable so that we can pass this message variable to our make reply function we are going to uh, we have written the make reply function uh, we am just uh, I'm, for now i am just creating a bot which echoes the message uh, sent by the user so in make reply function i have passed the message variable if message is not none our make reply function will return the message itself so if we pass the message by this way and we get the make reply function again we uh, for the send uh, we will be using send message method we have defined for sending the mess uh, sending the message to the user from our bot and we have defined send message method it has message and chat id param parameters of message and chat id i am sending the message as uh, the reply and we are getting our chat id from uh, this uh, line of code i am passing reply and from parameters to our send message method and my bot is now sending this message to my user so once we run the server dot web and write what replies with hi there it basically echoes the message the message which user had sent so yeah this is it for this video uh, you I, I i i hope you have learned how to create chatbot using how to create a bot and you can always uh, update this you can always update this uh, make reply method to whatever you want so you can go ahead with it so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much